Hello fellow earth runners wearers. If you are looking to relace or swap out the laces on your earth runner sandals, then in this video, I'm showing you just how to do that. If you find it helpful, please give it a like. And if you're going to be purchasing any sandals or laces or anything from earthrunners.com, you can use my discount code renewal 10 for 10% off your order. All right, let's get to it. All right. So I'm using this shoe as a reference to make sure that I put it in correctly. So if you have a shoe already, I would recommend that. So you're gonna start with this edge opposite where the copper plug is. Then you're gonna take this tip at the angle and you're gonna put it through the bottom of the shoe at the hole. Now I'm using these little needle nose pliers. I believe Earth Runners have some on their website that are much thinner. So you can actually stick them through the hole and grab the lace there and then pull it through. Mine won't work that way because the pliers won't open up enough. So I actually have to kind of shove it through first manually and then grab it from the other end. All right, so then once you have a little bit through, then you can just go ahead and pull the whole thing through manually without needing the pliers anymore, or you can use the pliers. And you want to pull it through so that copper plug is nice and flush with the bottom of that hole. Then on the top side, I know the black's a bit hard to see, but you want kind of this taco shape right there. So if you have brand new laces, I'm not sure it might be, you might have to form that more. Since these are laces I've used before, they already have that shape there. So you should have the trim. See how there's trim on this side? This side looks different. This is the underside. This is the top or the trim side. So that's what you want facing up. Then keeping the lace straight, you're going to take that end again. It's going to come through this hole. So see, you have one hole on this side, two holes on this side. It's going to come through this hole right here. Just making sure the trim stays out and there's no twist in the lace. So again, you can stick your pliers through this hole and then grab it on the other end if you have skinny pliers, or in my case, I have to shove it through a little bit first and then grab it. All right, so that's come through. So then you're gonna pull it through and just get it nice and tight so that you make sure you've got all that tension there. Then you're going to actually lift it back up a little bit. So you have a little bit of what the earth runners video on this called a bagel shape on the top. Now for me, this is super easy because I have kind of worn out laces already. So I can see where it's sort of already been before, but I would also recommend at this point, set it on the floor and stick your foot in here and see if that fits well over the top of your foot. That way you don't have to go back and readjust it later. And then you can proceed from there. All right, so I adjusted mine a bit and it's pretty much right where the lace gets a little dirty on mine from where I had it before. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this end, bring it around the side so it does wrap around the outside of your shoe. So now you're gonna have that inner part showing instead of the trim side. So that's gonna come around and then you're gonna thread the lace underneath that part that you just wrapped through the shoe. So I'll show you on this shoe cause it's easier to see. So you came down this hole and then you wrap around and come back this way and then it's gonna turn into your back strap at this point. So right here, you've got that underside showing and then when you come to flip it around, you're gonna have that trim side showing again on the back. So this is what that twist looks like on mine at this point. So a little bit of a twist and then we have the trim side sewing again. And then we are going to put on the buckle. So something to note about the buckles here is depending on which foot, the buckle goes a little bit differently. So this is a left foot. So you can see that Earth Runners logo is facing up like an E should look. <laughs> on the right shoe, at least on all of mine, the Earth Runner, the E on the Earth Runners logo is now backwards. So I am working on my left shoe right now. 
So the E is going to be facing the correct direction. Now I'm going to take the strap and you'll see in the buckle there are these two holes. So you're going to go up the inner slot. And then what I found to work best is before I loop it through this slot is to run it all the way down to that twist we just made and kind of get it like nice and tight in there so there's no space really between this strap and your buckle and then loop the other section through. So you came up the one slot, now you're gonna go down the opposite slot. And then pull it through. And then at this point, you just wanna make sure it's nice and tight. So you can see there's a little bit of a gap there. So I'm gonna adjust mine just slightly to get this buckle to move over a little bit closer to the strap. So now you're gonna form your back strap. This, again, you want the trim on the outside, and this is going to go down the inner slot right here. So you have the two slots, it's gonna go on the inner slot. All right, so I've got a little bit, then I can pull it through. And what the Earthrunner's video of this suggests is that when you're doing this, you take the back strap and you put it around the heel and that that should give you the appropriate amount of tension for your heel. Now the way my feet are, and I can see it on my shoelace, see where it's all a little bit uh, torn up here. This is where um, I'm normally walking on the shoe. That's why it looks that way. So for me, going around the heel is actually much too loose. So what I would suggest again is take a second here, put your foot in the shoe and see if this strap seems to be the right amount around your heel and then you can finalize that position. So when you have it where you want it, then you're going to take the end of your strap once again and take it up through that final slot. So there's that outer slot. You're gonna stick it through there. And I'll show you on this shoe. So we're right here. We came down here and now you're gonna go up through here. So you can see the sides with no trim are on the bottom. And then it's gonna come up through this hole. And then you're gonna pull it tight so you just have that little bit of material on the bottom. Again, this is easy for me because I'm already, uh, the strap is already scuffed up from me wearing it before. So if you're just swapping laces like me, that makes it really simple. If they're brand new laces, you'll probably have to play with the sizing just a bit. All right, now this is the part that messed me up a few times on my other shoes. So again, I'll show you on here because it's easier to see. So you just came up through the outside right here. That's this strap. So what you're gonna do is it's gonna come basically under this strap and come up here to go around the top of your foot. So like this, you're not gonna go directly here and make it a strap. So you're actually gonna come under this strap right here and pull it through. And you're basically creating another little twist on this side. You can see this is the underside, this is not the trim side, so that's what comes up, but then it's going to flip around. So you're kind of flipping it, and then it's going to come underneath that top strap, so the trim is on top again. You can see here, it's easier to see, this comes from the outer hole. It comes up, there's a little bit of a twist wrapping around this section, and then it's gonna come under that top strap. All right, so we're almost done. So you've got this going underneath the top strap. Then what you're gonna do is this edge you've been working with is gonna go through this buckle. The only thing is what they do, although I don't know how necessary it is, but right before you put it into that buckle, you're gonna twist it 
so the underside actually goes through. So you have that trim side all the way and then right at the buckle, it just twists a little bit. So again, easier to see on here. So you've got the trim and then right here it twists and that underside is what goes through the buckle right here. And then I would just suggest at this point you put your foot into the shoe and see how this fits, get it all adjusted. And this will be your final little adjustment point is just pulling that to figure out how it fits best over the top of your foot and then you can lock it closed. So this is what the final strap looks like. So there are quite a few little twists and turns. It's a little bit more complex than you might think, but it's actually not as bad to put these in as you might think. I was a little intimidated, but after a couple trial and error, I figured it out. Um, just go slow, make sure you're getting all those twists right. And it's fully adjustable, so you can always go back and you know, if you need to pull one of these, pull and adjust and adjust any sections of these, you can do that. So I hope that was helpful for you in figuring out how to relace your shoes. If it was, give this video a like. I would appreciate it so much and thank you for watching.